Uh, good news, everyone! Yeah, what is it? Uh, everyone... Okay, this sucks. What? Can we take them out of the box if we're gonna play with them? Absolutely not! Preposterous! But, this is retard- it's in a box, they can't interact, look at this! What- what are we doing? You want me to take them out of the box? If we're gonna play with them, yeah! But then they lose all value! Are you fucking kidding me? You know, I don't even want to play anymore, screw it! Ah, shut up! I don't want to play- let's just do this, and then I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna play with my toys that don't live in a box, they're not trapped, like fucking Han Solo and Carbonite. Hi, I'm Ian. This douchebag over here ruining all my friggin' toys is Ken. He's being a baby. I'm playing for my future, sir. Your fu your future is based on toys. Toys I just threw on the ground and Clearly, stuff. clearly you didn't see the 40-year-old virgin because that's the whole plot. Kind of. What's the, that was the plot? That's like a D plot line. It's, it's, it's in the, towards the end. Yeah, I kind of stopped watching after about 45 minutes or so. Did you see the boobs? Yeah, then I turned it off. All right, I then, the boobs, then I was happy. Boobs! We're happy again. <clears throat> We're bringing you comics on film. For yeah! This last week. Yeah! What happened, Ken? Nothing, really. A couple things. There, there, there's little, some small stuff. Little nothing, bits of news. Nothing huge. Uh, we got our first official look at the Guardians of the Universe from OA in... Uh, the live-action Green Lantern movie coming oh. out this summer. Sorry, I didn't know what you were talking about. I, I was hearing a lot of words, and I didn't understand them in those old words. What? I don't know. I don't know enough about Green Lantern. Oh, the Guardians. Are they the blue guys? The little short blue guys. Oh, blue midget. Simon's showing a picture of them right now! They're See? On, are they on a t-shirt? Yes, they are. It's on a, It was released on a t-shirt. That's um, how we get our first look, a t-shirt. You okay. know why? Because Warner Brothers is smart about merchandising. Apparently. So, uh, they look like little, short, blue, old aliens. Midgets. Which, uh, I guess that's what they should look like. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, looks like what they should. Uh, also, this is a big DC week. A lot yeah. of DC news, very little Marvel. Weird. Uh, I apologize for the fucking up of this last name. Joe... Man... Manganiello. Manganiello. Manganiello? Manganiello! I have no fun. He's, uh, he's on True Blood. He, I I've never seen True Blood. Uh, apparently I haven't either, but they, yeah. they, they say he plays a werewolf on that show. He played Flash Thompson in Spider-Man. Oh! Okay. Apparently is up for the role of Superman in Zack Snyder's Superman reboot coming out in 2012. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know it. how I feel about that. I don't. I haven't shown seen him since Spider-Man. So. I've seen pictures of him, uh, like the fan art things where they stick his head on uh, Brandon yeah. Ralph's body yeah. or something like that. And I don't see it. I want Brandon Ralph. Please give me more Brandon Ralph. <clears throat> no Kevin Spacey. As Superman? As anything. Uh, Ken doesn't like the Kevin Spacey. 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 Also uh, on the DC side of the pond. Mick G. Mick G. Mick G. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to be cool with that name or something, but seriously. Yeah, what the fuck? You're white, dude. I really You're hope white. that his real last name is like McGonovan or Mick... Just something really long and he just shortened it to Mick G just for the sake of being short. I have no idea. And pronounce it. I have no idea. Uh, you know what? You know what? Huh. Because he does what I tell him to, Simon right now is going <laughs> to display on the screen... Mick G's real name. What if Simon doesn't know it? Then we probably look like a couple of jackasses. No, because it's right here. Are you sure? If it's right not, here? he's going to edit this whole thing out. Here or here. I hope he can't find here. it. It's on YouTube. It's on Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah. Just, it's, I'll just type something on Wikipedia. So can you believe that that is or isn't his real name? I know, right? Anyway, Mick G Mick is G. apparently he's a director of Terminator Salvation. And the totally great Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie's Angels movies. Ew. Uh, Yuck. Apparently, is uh, has been approached to direct 
Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Wonder Woman TV show. I wanted to say it. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Just like that. Yeah. So we'll see. If, I don't uh, care. Yeah. I'll watch it. Depends. I may watch it. It's on NBC. It's your favorite. No, I won't look at NBC. Bum, bum, bum. They canceled My Name is Earl. They can go fuck themselves. Fuck themselves. Okay. Yeah. Jumping back over to Marvel. Ah. Our one little tidbit of Marvel news this week. Uh, something as a Daredevil fan I'm really excited oh, about. Oh, oh, oh. Can I say it? 2012, Marvel and Disney will be getting the rights back to Daredevil. Fuck yeah. Which means we don't have to see Ben Affleck as Daredevil again. We won't see Jennifer Garner again. That's the better news, because I could deal with more Ben Affleck. Honestly, Ben Affleck Daredevil. was decent. I, I wouldn't it. say he was great, but he was okay. Um, apparently, the way the like news Colin goes... Farrell. I don't think he liked that at all. I don't care what he likes. He wears wool caps in the summer. <laughs> Family guy. Yeah. Um... From what I understand, the uh, from what I've read online, the uh, the way the deal worked out is Fox, uh, after making Daredevil in 2003, their rights extended another seven years, yeah. uh, bringing us to 2010. So you think that the rights should have already gone back to Disney, but apparently, because Fox made, uh, they put that minute and a half long Matt Murdock cameo into the horrible. They didn't even have it in the finished movie. It was the deleted scene, where Matt Murdock had a cameo in the Electra movie. That gives them the rights for another two years? They used the character in a movie. Fox Apparently Fox. it gave them a couple more years, it extended the contract, but uh, the contract is still, uh, the extension only goes to 2012. So unless Fox can shit out a Daredevil movie in... Hey, they shit out an X-Men movie in eight months. That's a good point, maybe, but uh, they gotta get working on it right now. I don't want them to. Me neither. Me neither. I want it to go back to Disney. I want to see a good... Yeah, Marvel needs it, and Marvel needs to make a kick-ass Daredevil movie. Man Without Fear. Fuck yes. If you have not read Daredevil Man Without Fear, you've, you, you, you have made a drastic error yes. in your life. Go to ComicImpact.com for a review of it. That I wrote to ten. Trade Tuesday. Just look it up. Uh, go on Amazon. Pick it up. It's... Excellent. It it's really a fantastic, is. Uh, Frank Miller before he went insane. The goddamn John Batman. Romita Jr. Some of John Romita Jr.'s best work. Yeah. Period. It's oh yeah. Excellent. It's yeah. so good. Uh, if they just did that, but uh, put a little more of him in it because he's not. Yeah. He doesn't get the costume until the last page. Yeah. You just you just tweak it a little bit so yeah. that he gets the costume earlier. Yeah. Uh, you throw in some kind of villain because there's no real. He gets the bad kingpin. guy. Kingpin's backup in it. He's not. He's barely even in it. Okay. There's no actual antagonist in that story. Okay. There's no single antagonist. Mm. Uh, you throw in some kind of antagonist. You take out the Electra parts because yeah. fuck her. Yeah, that was uh, like the boring part. Disney, of it anyway. Disney. I hope you're listening. Yeah. Listen to this us. Is how you do it. We have no budget, but we know what we're talking about. You know how Batman Begins did really well. It was based on a Frank Miller. Uh, reboot work. True. Batman Year One. Yeah. It was based on Batman Year One, and it's caught, it's brought Warner Brothers a fuck ton of money. Get Here Christopher Nolan if you need to. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Now, time for your ridiculous rumor of Der Week. We need like a little theme for that. Ba da ba ba. Oh, it's Mario. Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Ridiculous Rumor of the Week! We need uh, a, a sexy, ridiculous rumor of the week girl. Oh! Ladies, Ooh. email. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Email. Um, you anyway. can be our Ridiculous Rumor of the Week girl. Send uh, send photos so that we know what we're looking at. Preferably news, yes. but I mean, not. It's tasteful not news. Tasteful. I'm, I'm happy if it's not tasteful. I don't need taste. Anyway, your Ridiculous Rumor of the Week. Uh, Robin Williams, rumor this week, Robin Williams uh, as Hugo Strange in The Dark Knight Rises. Hmm. Here's the thing about it. That's not so ridiculous. No, I could, 
It would be good. It would be a good casting. It would be interesting. Um, and there's a lot of um, kind of circumstantial stuff to back it up. Nolan worked with him in Insomnia. He was he worked with Christopher Nolan already. He does play a pretty good creepy bad guy. Yeah. And Strange Hugo Strange is. If you haven't seen Insomnia, that's a kick-ass movie. I haven't seen Insomnia. It's yeah. on. You want to watch it right after we're done with this? Yeah, it's I got it. on Netflix. The instant. Oh fuck! I, I got a Blu-ray at home, but you got the instant right fucking over there. I'm fuck, seriously yeah. considering canceling my cable because I never use it anymore. All I ever watch is the instant Netflix on oh. my 50-inch TV on Ooh. the PlayStation 2. Free. That's right, because you can't do it on the PS2. No. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <clears throat> um, there's a lot of stuff backing it up. Uh, well, Robin Williams has said before he would like to uh, be in a Batman movie, and he's he was rumored as the Joker and the Riddler at one point. And uh, Riddler before. I think he was Riddler's the room, rumored as the Riddler for Dark Knight Rises. I know he was rumored as the Riddler for Batman Forever, and yeah. I think he was Riddler. God damn me! You're having trouble with your R's today. I'm having voice diarrhea today. He was rumored as the Joker. I think before um, the Batman 1989 and the Dark Knights. Really. Maybe not the Dark Knight. I don't remember anything from Dark Knight. But he was rumored as the Joker for that. I think that. I've heard that. Um, I throw this in the ridiculous rumor pile because all of that said, all of that circumstantial stuff... There's nothing to back it up. It, nothing my, solid. My bullshit alarm is going off. I just smell bullshit yeah. on he this has, one. He has bullshit sense. My bullshit sense is going off. I think that was bullshit. Total bullshit. Anyway... That's all we got for this week. Yeah. Your ridiculous rumor, Robin Williams, if you, if you go strange. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I'd, I'd be up for that. Hell yeah, that'd be cool. Robin Williams is good. I like Robin Williams. Like, he takes a yeah. lot of shit. I like Robin Williams. Yeah. I think it's... He's done some bad movies, but he's done some really good ones, too. There's there's a camaraderie between him because, uh, because of this. Going oh on my right god, he's, he is Robin Williams level Harry. I'm not quite as bad as he's pretty... You know what I realized? He's also a lot older than you. Give it time. Yeah. Give it time. I watched Hook again for the first time in years. Yeah? You know what dawned on me? What? He must have waxed the shit out of his arms for that movie. Because at one before he becomes Peter Pan again, yeah. all Harry, but then when he's Peter Pan, whoosh, baby ass smooth. Maybe they use computers to get, to get rid of the hair. They didn't have that back there. That was pre. That was pre Jurassic Park. Was it pre Jurassic? Park? That was the last movie Spielberg did before Jurassic Park. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. It was like ninety one. Wow. There were some computers, not nearly as much as yeah. today. It also was funny to me because watching Hook. Remember, there's the big crocodile. Yeah, I love the crocodile. And his next movie was Jurassic Park. Huh? Ah. There was a big crocodile in that. They called it a Tyrannosaurus, but I know a crocodile when I see I want to see Jurassic Park 4. I want to see Jurassic Park. Insomnia, then Jurassic Park? I don't think it's on Netflix. What's up, bitches? Hey, we're back. I think Ian's wearing a different shirt than he was a second ago. Yeah, I had to change, because... He's like a girl. Let's be honest, let's be honest. We made the... Everything you just watched, we made that Saturday. Today's Sunday. Yeah. And we found out today. Some other guy's gonna be Superman. Henry Cavill uh, of the Tudors, one of the most bullshit shows ever. Is that a Spanish soap opera? No, it's it's a Showtime show about Henry VIII. Oh, I don't care. One of the biggest, fattest fucks in oh. British history. Yeah. Uh, and, but he's played by Jonathan Rice Myers, who's just chiseled and skinny. It doesn't make sense. Come on, give us a break. Anyway, Henry Cavill's in that show. He is Superman. He has officially been cast as Superman. Everything we said a minute ago about Joe Minge and me and Liam, forget it. No nope, cares. Sorry. It's bullshit. Yeah. That should have been the ridiculous. It, no, ridiculous rumor of the week. Joe Minge and Neil and Liam is Superman. Because he's not. Fuck that is. That was a rumor. Yeah. Uh, it was ridiculous. It didn't happen. Henry Cavill is your Superman. Yeah. For better or worse, I would have gone with Brandon Ralph. Yeah, we, we know. know. We know. Yeah. But uh, there you have it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Then.